I love you, Hucky. I love you, buddy. You're so handsome. Hey, piggy people. So today's video, I just wanted to update you about Huckle. So if you watched my last video, you knew that I thought he was having dental issues. He wasn't eating. Um, he was having lots of weird mouth movements. Everything that you would see if you thought the teeth were the problem. So his front teeth looked fine. It was so I figured it was the molars, maybe like a spur or overgrown molars because he was over six. Unfortunately, it turned out to be a mass in his neck, so most likely cancer. Could have done a biopsy to check what it was, but I chose not to because he already wasn't eating on his own. And a biopsy would take time to come in. And then if you were to have that mass removed, it was right by like arteries and veins. And if it was cancer and you don't get it all out, then it's just going to come back. And while we were waiting, it could just grow so big that he couldn't even swallow. There's a whole bunch of things. So I decided to have him put to sleep so that he wouldn't have to struggle anymore. If he was still eating, would I have done a biopsy? That's ah, pretty iffy because everything didn't sound that great for an outcome for trying to remove a, a lump where it was and everything like that. So I wasn't expecting that at all. I thought for sure he had like a spur or something like that, that they would just grind down. So it definitely was very sad. On a better note though, Huckle had a very healthy life compared to a lot of my pigs. I got him when he was four weeks old from a rescue, just a little baby. He was so sweet. Uh, he lived with Barry, but Barry unfortunately passed away from some complications after having Batril and GI stasis. And then he lived with Apple who absolutely loved. And then when I got Huckle neutered, he got to be the man of the herd. And he was always surrounded by ladies and he was just in his element being with all the female pigs. He absolutely loved having pigs around him. He was just a really sweet boy. Always would walk around the cage talking, super sweet and snuggly. Just a really, really happy, sweet, sweet pig. I'm going to miss him. And I was just glad that he didn't have very many bad days. It was basically three where I had to hand feed him. And yeah, so now I'm down to four pigs. I have Raisin, who is six. I have Veda, who is two. Busby's two. Autumn is four. So I debate whether I'm going to try to put Raisin and Veda with the other two. Raisin's really high strung when it comes to intros, so I'm not sure. I'm going to see how Veda and Raisin do together. Out of the herd, they were like the least friendly together, so it figures that they're the last two left. But so far, I don't notice anything bad. 